Hey guys, Mitch here from Cinema Suite. Welcome to another very exciting feature spotlight video for Cinema Director. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at exporting your cutscene out of Unity into a video. And uh, a lot of people have been asking about this on our forums, and uh, it turns out there is a way to do that built into Director. It's just not super prominent right now. We have a little prefab right here in Cinema Director and then prefabs, and it's called Screenshot Capture. And all you have to do is drag this into the root of your uh, hierarchy, and then pick the frame rate. Let's do uh, do 24. Will be cinematic, and uh, you can choose the folder you want it to uh, to output to. Then all you have to do is play your cutscene like normal. So as you can see, it's playing a lot slower than normal, and that's just something that happens when you're capturing. We have to slow down the cutscene so you can actually capture it, capture each frame, just depending on the performance of your machine. Then once the video plays through, you want to find the root directory of your project folder. So I'm going to right click and reveal in Finder because I'm in a Mac. Pretty sure it'd be show in Explorer on Windows. And uh, right here we have capture output. And there you go. We have all of our frames in an image sequence. So not exactly a video, but we can certainly make it into a video. Watch this. So if you have something like Adobe After Effects or a decent video editor like Premiere or Final Cut, they actually recognize these image sequences. And you can import these image sequences into uh, After Effects, and once they're in there, it'll actually just treat it like a video. So we're just going to highlight all these and make sure we tell it PNG sequence and open. And there you go. You see it appears as an image sequence here, and you can just drop that make a new comp out of it. One thing to keep in mind here is uh, you have to make sure that your PNG sequence is being interpreted at the same frame rate from which you exported it from Cinema Director. So we'll go to interpret footage in main and see if I exported it like this it would have played back a lot faster than uh, it, uh, it should have because it assumes that it's a 30 frames per second video, but remember we changed it to 24, so just make sure that matches. And now we're going to uh, give it an export, add to render queue. We'll make a, oops, make an H.264 and go. And there you have it. We have our little chunk of video exported from Cinema Director, just like that. I'm sure you will find that this gives much better results than just doing a screen capture or something like that. Okay guys, that's it for this feature spotlight. I'm Mitch from Cinema Suite. Thanks for watching.